Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another smoking session. I'm your host, Crazy Rocky, here with Jason Nova. Today we are going to be reacting to a new YNW Melly song. Now, if you've never uh, heard of YNW Melly somehow, essentially he's an artist that popped up a couple years ago. He made uh, Murder on My Mind, etc., and then he got put in prison for apparently murdering his friends. Um, based on the evidence I've read, if the evidence that they're saying they have, they actually do have, he definitely did that shit. Like, because this is, that was my whole field of study, was studying how police work, what technology they have, and how they discover these things. You can tell when a bullet comes from inside of the car rather than outside. The entrance wound is vastly, vastly different mm. from when you shoot inside versus outside. Because essentially the first hole usually, depending on the caliber, is going to make a, a, a smaller insertion actually. And then when it comes out the back end, that's when all it usually sprays. So usually if you have a clean side on the, the inside, that means that the bullet went through the inside. On top of that, they had blood blood splatter, all sorts of shit. The fact that Melly was not harmed whatsoever, even though he was right next to them in the car, Locked. allegedly. Listen, the point of the matter is, he's an amazing artist, but he's probably a pretty bad dude. Um, so at the end of the day, he's gonna be releasing another album, allegedly. Um, this is, uh, th he has released two singles now. This is the second single called Best Friends for Life, uh, or for L, featuring Lil TJ. Without further ado, and by the way, I love Melly. I just wanted to get out there. Just get rid of the evidence. Okay. We can't do that, Jay. Just get rid of the evidence. No, yeah. no, no. What we need to do when is... When you have a we voice like Melly... We need to re... I don't know what happened to the We evidence. need to rehabilitate him, right? We need to teach him not to murder his friends. Oh. Right? Well, what, that's what we should do. Well, it makes good music. Okay, that's irrelevant, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I got murder on my if Sinatra, Was Sinatra okay to be part of the mafia? Sure. Okay, get the fuck out of here. No, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't back the mafia. That's insane. <laughs> Nobody backs the mafia. <laughs> Hi, Loud Juice. I miss Juice. How dare you? No, don't, don't backtrack now. <laughs> don't backtrack now. What do you mean? You speak ill of the dead. You accept that bitch. All right. Fuck you. You're not Suicidal? allowed to listen. You're not allowed to listen to Juice anymore. That's how it works. You're That's not allowed ridiculous. to listen to Juice. I listen to Juice That's too much. No. Nope, you gotta find a new artist. All right, get the fuck out. I I, I've, I've introduced you to, to too many good artists. You gotta find a new. <laughs> All right, the point of the matter is, is uh, yeah, uh, you know what? It's no Jack Harlow. I I introduced you to Jack Harlow too. We both know that. <laughs> well, I was the heard, first song yeah. I played. What, when uh, I was what's the, happening? Yeah, what's popping? What's popping? You don't even know the fucking thing. How are you gonna claim Jack it's Harlow? You a, don't even know the main song. Uh, yeah, whatever. I guess. <laughs> Jason. And actually, I had heard Jack Carlo's name for a while, but to the point that, like, I never heard his music, but I heard of a guy named Jack Harlow because he'd made beats. And then I was like, wait a minute, why the fuck do you have a name so close to Jack Marlowe? And, uh, but I never looked up Jack Marlowe's song. <laughs> point of the matter is, though, uh, I enjoyed this song. It was definitely good to hear Melly on some new shit. It was definitely good to hear Melly on, like, a, a more low-key, sad vibe, opening up shit like that. Like, I enjoy that from Melly. Um, I'm hoping he continues with the experimentation that he's done and does, you know, a variety of things. Like, mixed personalities, like I said, like, you would expect that when somebody does that really, like, high-pitched falsetto voice that he did in mixed personalities, you think that it wouldn't work but it does it just works somehow and so it just I, I enjoyed this track quite much uh tj did good on it like i said he's in his era right now this is his vibe this is what he's been doing so it makes sense to me that he was able to do this well um and i'm definitely excited for little tj hopefully to start mixing some stuff up because you know as you mentioned like you know the album was it was decent but it wasn't great and both of our things i think is that he could have done a little bit more variety of stuff and and really expanded his horizons a bit so um i'm but you know i'm very excited for this melly album it's been a couple years, I think, since 2019, since we got something, uh, an album, a full project from Melly. Actually. Uh, possibly. Well, I know he dropped the album, the one album in jail. Oh. So I think it was 2019. Yeah. I think he went in 2019. 2019. So, yeah, I, I'm excited to see some shit from him. I love Melly. Like, he's got such a unique, amazing voice, and uh, it's just sad that the circumstances are what they are. But, yeah, what would you say? Uh, and yeah, don't say burn the fucking evidence. That's not what we're going to do. Burn the evidence? Okay, um... Burn the evidence, but uh, no, don't. No, I like, said don't uh, say that. I like Melly and Lil TJ. Their voices didn't clash. They just kind of worked well together. So okay. I liked. Uh, I'm. I, I'm a kind of. I'm like. I like Lil TJ when I first heard him. Yeah. And uh, I was disappointed in the album, mm -hmm. but I wasn't so disappointed. It's like, oh, this I'm guy. Write you did, off. Yeah. yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, see, he's too young. Call him my and phone. He does have talent. Call him my phone. I understand that like pizza's a bit overplayed and like that whole style this is, is what's popping. But call call him my phone is probably one of the best songs I've heard in a couple years. Yeah, it's, it's a, a great fucking song. great song. I love. You know it. he has, and you potential. feel it too when he sings yeah. it. Like you can feel that he was like that. Bitch, his bitch was fucking him over, and he was like, "Stop 
calling me. I cannot and do Melly this. And is good uh, is good at changing it up. Absolutely, and, uh, he's really very kind versatile. Of utilizing his voice in a great way, and on each every track that he does, for the most mm-hmm. part. Yeah. Like yeah. I haven't really. Uh, uh, well, heard we've heard a couple track. bad tracks. We've heard yeah, bad tracks. But, but his most uh, the one bad tra- actually the one bad track that I always think of off top has that one bitch that made that one song that we didn't like too, and I asthma pump, uh, Tay Money. Oh, it was yeah. that bitch with Tay Money, yeah. And also there's yeah, still bitches going ago. there's still bitches going into our comment section on Tay Money saying like calling us fat and shit because we said white bitches ain't the shit. Well, they ain't the shit. They ain't the shit. I know. I don't understand. Give, give me a Filipino chick before a white chick. A- Any, yeah. Anything before a white chick. There's a lot of <laughs> Filipinos where we live. Uh, I'm noticing there that. There are, yeah. You didn't know? Yeah. yeah. They had a lot of... My first crush was a Filipino girl. Yeah. Marina. I don't remember her name. Yeah, like a Bella Porch. Okay. Now you ruined it. Now you made it weird. <laughs> because now it's back into this weird archetype that you have of very specific women that you're very attracted to oh, at a cer- no. for a certain period no, of time. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let's move now, on. Now, I'm, I'm not going cap, actually. Weirdly, although you have gone back and forth on Bella Porch, I think, actually, Bella Porch might now be the second longest to Celestia Vega. Yeah. I think that might be the second Good. longest. She's past Pokey. Wait, who? Yeah, Pokey. No, she's past Pokey. Pokey didn't last that long. What was the other one? Um, it was it was sniper wolf for a second, but that went away. Yeah, that went um, away. What was the other? There was one that was a while that I feel like. Oh, Alinity. Yeah, Alinity. Oh yeah. Alinity's Alinity's the first. The you simp for Alinity for a long time, for like oh. And long then I time. saw like uh, a a San simp for it. I'm like, oh, that's what I looked like. Oh yeah, fuck Alinity. Yep. Hey, well, that's what the San wants to do. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. And yeah. Hey, she's uh, she's not the sharpest cookie in the shed. <laughs> Neither are you if you say it like that. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe you'd go great. Yeah, She's man. not the sharpest tool of this. Yeah, time. there we go. Yeah. Wow. Where's the, where the cookie come from? I you got cookies on the brain? I got cookies on the mind. <laughs> well, cookie's another word for pussy, so. Oh, okay. Because bitches will be like, I'll give you that. I'll, give, I'll come and eat this cookie. Oh. They'll be like, that's the pussy. So, anyway. Well, so you it, got better be, on the it better be uh, chocolate. <laughs> it better be chocolate chip. <laughs> Or oh, well, maybe a little caramel. <laughs> or or marble. <laughs> what? Interesting choice. Interesting yeah. choice. All right. Anyway, six point <laughs> five. I give it a six point five. I played in the car, but it's not like a, one of my like more favorite songs from either Melly or TJ. Uh, it's more low key. Uh, it's not like hella memorable, but again, it's a good song. I vibe to it. So six to six point. Uh, you know, we'll say light six point five, solid six. Yeah, I'll six. Say. Okay. I go six. All right. It's a, uh, I would listen to this track easily again, but mm-hmm. um, it's definitely not one of the best tracks. It's not a standout, him. for sure. Yeah. Definitely not. Definitely not. Well, I'm hoping there's at least one song that's like mixed personalities or murder on my mind level. Like Those two songs are probably some of my favorite songs to come out in a, a while besides Circles as a whole album. Circles will always be the number one for me I just don't but the problem too is now just until we're gonna da, end this we're gonna end this for a second releases. no because the problem is now is that I'm emotionally attached to circles like, oh. like it's my it's like my uh, safe place like if I'm tripping and I start like having a bad trip I always put on circles and it always helps me calm down Oh, yeah. So it's weird. I don't know why I've just connected with that. Probably because I feel that album on a whole other level. Like, I really connect with it. So, yeah. So, and that'll probably remain my number one for well, a long, long time. when you thing. take tabs and you listen to it, uh, when it just comes out, I mean, it kind of sets a mood precedent, uh, doesn't it? What do you mean? Well, if you're, like, uh, tripping balls uh-huh. and then you listen to it, it kind of sets you in a different mindset where it kind of gets, like... Like you're able to get down to the root of why that album. Oh, makes absolutely! No, one hundred percent. I'm like you're able to like uh, t- uh, tear it apart and like really like yeah. understand and feel why, the lyrics. Yeah, you, know? you understand why. And it makes me feel so comfortable much, because because it it makes me know that there's somebody else. Not only that, feels it, but is famous can put it into words and can put it into music so beautifully that so many people could like easily connect with it. Yeah. If that if there's somebody that can do that. That means there's tens, if not hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions of people that feel that way that don't have the access to go put it into words and do mm-hmm. that. Maybe they are famous, but they can't put it into words. Or maybe they can put it into words, but they're not famous. Like, you know what I mean? You have to have all these things. So that, it makes me really comfortable. Yeah. Anyway. Donda will be my album. Uh, possibly. Wait, no, I don't know. But, well, what's your album right now? Would it be a, which Kanye album would be peak right now? Uh, Life of Pablo. So that's your number one? Yeah, because uh, like literally, it, every Kanye album that I released, I kind of like the um, better than the previous one. Okay. It's we, it's very difficult for an artist to do that, um, but uh, like Drake will never do that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, Donda I feel like is gonna be his 
peak. Like it's gonna because I love kids uh, see ghosts. Yeah, kids see ghosts is my peak. Kanye it's so album. it's short, obviously, like five mm-hmm. tracks. I yeah. think it is. But uh, that album is so freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. Even the five the five tracks are masterpieces. Absolutely, alone. each one is just completely amazing. But it goes with Life of Pablo. I agree. It's, no, there is a we- and Life see, of Pablo was able to expand. This it. is what's so amazing though about honestly that's why for me people will always disagree mac is really like just below kanye and he is above drake for me why because real artists do that they 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 try new things and they take the things that work and they fucking run with it yeah and they keep doing that kanye Kanye did that with life of pablo it led up to kids see ghosts it led up to the like he had all these albums that just led up to the next one he uses his own technology Uh, that's pretty cool drake's never made a beat in his life nope actually he has so many ghostwriters now it's insane yeah no true and like Ghost Riders aren't necessarily the it's worst not, thing. Kanye you, had Ghost Riders. But when your whole mean. message, uh, really at the beginning of your career, because mm-hmm. uh, it was on, what the heck, uh, the album that had uh, Forever, or uh, the one where he uh, he's a kid and has to throw. And it's, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. album, there, there's a line where he sits there and uh, says, uh, basically, he'll never have a Ghost Rider because these are his thoughts and that's all he knows. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was just like, Okay, cool, great, because you were a ghostwriter for Lil Wayne, so yeah, you get it, like, you're just gonna, and then it just, you slowly realize at a certain point um, that Drake was not writing his stuff anymore. But I think the problem is... Because is he was in, telling but, stories about things that he knew nothing about. But not only that, it's just impossible at the level of Drake's fame to not have ghostwriters. But then, ex- like, then uh, take time off between albums. Don't release a new I one every agree. year. He, I agree, but he obviously he has uh, things with his label that he has. It's so much other things that he does. Uh-huh. If you literally took two to three years off for between albums, people be anticipating it. Well, uh, absolutely, like. And yeah, then Kend- I've forgotten Kendrick. maybe the sound. So even if you well, change like Kendrick, yeah, for yeah, sure. Kendrick, like Kendrick does takes it. periods of time. Cole takes time. But off. the thing is, though, is that I really just do think that Ghost Riders are a necessary thing for somebody at Drake's level. Because when you're writing as like that many songs, like even if you were to take the break, right? Like, because then you're gonna have to put more songs in it. Like that's how it works. You can't just have like a ten song album after three years. That's just not gonna work. Well, then you can't be the goat ever. No, see, I would disagree. Kanye has had ghostwriters. That's what Drake's whole thing was. Drake said, I mean, I, the line I think literally was, uh, Father reaches hands out to get it from me, which means he wrote, he ghost wrote, uh, Father stretch my hands out or whatever that song is. You remember what I'm talking yeah. about from Life of Pablo? So the, okay. the problem is, is that, because think about it. You have to have this expectation of putting out not just bars, but bars that have messages that also are hard as fuck and are like clever. Well, then, that's not well, easy let's, to let's put that say, many songs together like that. Let's say, uh, so Kanye had uh, Ghostwriters, mm-hmm. but has Kanye ever had a Ghostwriters on a beat that he didn't make? I don't necessarily. So, so for you, you have to be completely making the entire beat. You had to make a, have some uh, big input on every song. Okay, so would done. you say that, for example, because Mac uh, worked with some, I can't remember his name, but he worked with this uh, famous folk uh, person who like uh, helped him produce the music. But he went in and he did some of the piano, he did the some of the drums, like he put together some of these, and he knew how to play instruments. Is that good enough for making beats because there's a large input and there's some of the back well, I think Mac that wrote work? all that stuff anyway. So. I think Mac did write his own shit. I so think. that's a big portion. For sure, but Mac also didn't do as much. Oh, well, actually, no, and he did quite a bit, didn't he? Because he had um, uh, the the uh, what was the Divine Feminine? He had uh, Mac a delegate. There's a bunch of them. Now that I think about it, so I don't know. Maybe Mac didn't have writers. Maybe he did. I don't know. It's possible that he did have writers. But like to to write somebody off for being the goat, I would write Drake off for being the goat because he's not the greatest. He doesn't even from Ghost Riders. He doesn't have the greatest bars. He doesn't have the greatest beats. He's just the most mainstream that has some has pretty great has pretty good yeah. pretty great mu- I'll give him great. He has pretty great music every time. But he doesn't have shit when he says it that I go, "Whoa, holy shit, that's insane." I can't like I can't like oh, I can't problem. like the whole thing of like uh this a rolling not a stop. Watch shit don't never stop. That's hard. Thick thick. Yeah, or and or like uh I'm light skin, but I'm still a dark inward. That's hard. But it's like not, I'm not like, oh damn, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like Kanye will say some shit or Mac will say some shit where I'm like, oh fuck, like that hits hard. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's probably how I would judge it more. But I do agree with you. There needs to be some input on the beat. I highly doubt though. Cause like, for example, Travis Scott, hey, hey, go away. Travis Scott never makes a beat. 
Travis Scott has never made a beat in his entire life. He just pulls beats together and buys them from His beat. input, though. He pulls the beat. He, not input on the making of the beat. He just chooses the beat in which he uses. Okay. But that's what Drake does, too. Most people that you have, like, their beats, you know, made by other people and they don't have input directly on the making of the beat, they still get to choose which beats they buy or don't. And usually you buy them in a bundle. So if there's a certain artist that you like that has made beats, you'll be like, all right, I'll give you, you know, five grand for this bundle of 20 beats. And, yeah. And then if we use it, we get to do whatever we want with it. So, like... At the end of the day, it, like the whole, it's just the industry promotes putting out as much music as fast as you can for the most views for the most money, mm. and and that's gonna, that's nothing to change that sadly, but yeah. Anyway, Max 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 definitely up there with Kanye for me because <laughs> it's just so fucking no, I feel great. Like anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for that little rant. I hope you maybe enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that, then head over to our streaming channel. Um, we have a streaming channel on YouTube, which we have not started streaming to quite yet. We will be trying to get over there soon. It's just there's this issue with streaming shit that if you do anything, like play a little music, etc., you get fucking banned. It's just immediately banned. So we're definitely going to be streaming over to Twitch, though. Check that out. That's in the description. You can let us know what else you'd like us to react to in the comments down below. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. And you can follow any other links, again, down in the description. Is there anything else? Uh, thank you so much for watching. And more importantly, thank you for joining us during the smoking session. I stay sound of my head to the depths of the universe. It's a spell or a chance just to open up a